Today, we'll be looking at the basics of how to activate and use your render-only licenses for your Red Giant plugins. We will be using Media Encoder in this tutorial, but this should function with any form or render-only license assignment, be that AE Render, Render Farm Software, Adobe Watch Folders, etc. A group team license to either Maxon One or Red Giant Complete allows you to utilize a non-editing machine for render-only purposes and comes with a Red Giant Complete render-only floating license. Today I'll be using Maxon One floating license to demonstrate. Let's first assign the Maxon One floating license via the Maxon app. Alternately, you can use the MX1 tool for headless operations. We see that the orange icons have turned blue, indicating that your assigned license is ready to be activated once in use. In After Effects, you can start your project. I have already completed a simple one using some Red Giant plugins here called RO Test 2. Rather dazzling, is it not? Next, we will want to use the MX1 tool to assign the render only license for Red Giant Complete. You'll want to navigate to your terminal or command line interface, depending on your operating system, to the Tools folder of your Maxon app. On Mac, you'll want to proceed your MX1 command with a dot forward slash, then type license list. This will bring up all the licenses that your currently logged in user has to assign. In this list, you will find, if available, the Red Giant Complete render only license name with the short description of what it is directly to the right. Go ahead and copy that full name. In order to assign it using the MX1 tool, type in dot forward slash MX1 license, then either assign or activate. Either one will assign the license to the machine. Once assigned, you can confirm that it is in use by refreshing the license page at my.maxon.net for your account. Here we see that both Maxon 1 floating and render only licenses have both been assigned. Let's head back to our project in After Effects. Make sure that it is saved and then export the project to Media Encoder. In Media Encoder, you can now set up the project to save in your chosen directory with the preferred name. In this case, I'm just replacing the file I've already created while testing this earlier. Next, set up to export for your desired format. Okay, now that your project has been adjusted to be output to your specifications, you can close After Effects if you like and release your Maxon One license so that it can be used elsewhere. You can use the command release or deactivate in the MX1 tool. Look for the Maxon One floating license in the license list from earlier and copy paste it into the prompt. You can confirm that the license is now free to use elsewhere from your my.maxon.net user account as before. A refresh of the Maxon app should show that the license has now been released. Note that the render only floating license for Red Giant Complete stays active, as seen in your license page at my.maxon.net, though it never shows in the Maxon app itself. You can now export your project using Media Encoder, AE Render, or using the Watch Folder. Just make sure if you are using the latter, you have assigned the render only license on any machine that will be doing the rendering. And that's it. If you have any questions, please head to maxon.net and check our support FAQs or use the ticket portal to contact a support team representative.